Hi there. My name is John Stevens, pastor of Zion Lutheran Church in Oregon City, Oregon, and we are part of the ELCA, and welcome to Dollar Store Children's Sermons, where we take a look at the lectionary text and we tie them to an item from the Dollar Tree or the junk drawer or the kid's room or the garage. You know how we've been doing it, or maybe you know how we've been doing it. Thank you. Thank you so much for the love that you are sharing with your kids and your congregations and your families. You are rocking it. And thank you for spending a little bit of your week with me in this way, and thank you for your partnership in this ministry. I appreciate it greatly. All right, we're looking at the 22nd, 22nd Sunday after Pentecost. We're in that portion of time where I'm at like, which Sunday are we again? It's gone forever. Yes, we're in the 22nd Sunday after Pentecost. We're looking at the gospel lesson out of Mark and the whole uh, conversation. Hey, I want to be on the left hand and I want to be on the right hand of your throne. And um, you can explore all that in Bible study and that about the about those places are already determined, thinking about the thieves on the cross the, and the, all of that. So then the disciples, other get, disciples get angry that they've been talking about this. And I think they get angry because they either A, didn't think about it first, or B, think that they should be there, or they're just, I can't believe how petty these people are, blah, blah, blah. So they've got the, all that kind of argument that as is typical through the gospel of Mark, Jesus is about the first will be last, last will be first. And the disciples, again, are arguing about who's going to be first. Here again, we have where Jesus comes in and says, if, you know, look, this is what strength looks like. This is what uh, leadership looks like. This is what being strong looks like. It looks like being a servant. It looks like helping. It looks like washing feet. It looks like being one that um, does not take but gives and all of that imagery about, you know, the, the leaders and the lording over versus leaders following Jesus and being servants of all. So what I'm looking at is some pictures about, um, I was thinking about pictures of those that we determine that are strong. Maybe, I don't know, maybe a picture of, of Arnold Schwarzenegger when he was Mr. Universe, or um, we have a picture of the superheroes that um, are saving the day. We have um, uh, a pair of glasses that, um, you know, you put a pair of glasses on, you're like, ooh, I can see better. At the Dollar Tree, sometimes they have the funky glasses, you know, big glasses you can put on, being able to look through um, with a special lens, and that Jesus asks us to look at the world in a special way. And that how when we see what it means to be strong, what does strength look like? And strength looks like being able to serve and being able to help and being able to be that way. Um, and so looking at uh, maybe having pictures of three, uh, three human beings that are incredibly strong. And then you've got one, maybe a picture of Mother Teresa, a picture of Gandhi, a picture of um, someone that the world wouldn't say, they look strong. And talk about the, the different ways that we are called. Um, and in the text, Jesus says that we're called to serve. And in that, that's a way of being a strong leader. And so some of that, I'm, I'm working on it. Those are some springboards that I'm looking at about how we might look at what Jesus tells us to do, and that is to serve our neighbors. The first will be last, and the last will be first. And all of that, turning what we think upside down that the the idea of being you know this is what we see as strength may it's really kind of getting back at the whole um uh you know when david was picked as king god you know we man or humans look at the outward appearance and god looks upon the heart and when we look at how we are called to be servants all right I'm hoping this can be useful for your own children's sermon. Again, thank you for being here. Thank you for the love that you're sharing with your kids and your congregations and your families. You, my friend, are rocking it. Peace. We'll see you next week.